All right, Brazil. You have been preparing for Mr. World since 2016. How has that preparation been up until this day? Oh my God, it was really hard. I was away for three years, and, and it worked hard. And, but that's really good for me because uh, I have time to prepare, and that's what my dream. And I'm here today. That's enough for me. You know, it's new. Oh my God. No words, right? No words can explain. No, that's amazing. Thank you very much, guys. Abu Hai for All right, thank you so much, Brazil. Miguel? All right, ladies and gents, our next finalist is... Uh, aerodynamics, uh, 
It's quarantine. Cool. <laughs> My brain is exploding just a little bit hearing all that. <laughs> but I'm sure you can teach everyone here a thing or two if they need a little help in maths, right? Oh yeah, I do uh, math lessons if anyone needs it. <laughs> good to know, good to know. All right, congratulations. And we continue. Our fourth finalist is... I mean, if you 
said that again, maybe it'll start to sink in. Like, this is insane. That's it. Feel like a dream, huh? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm floating. I'm feeling a bit like it is the doctor here. Well, I have an F. I think the doctor is you. So, why did you choose to become a doctor? All things that you could have been. Um, I, I come from a very small town, and um, it's actually why I connected with kind of coming to the Philippines, going to the bars, seeing the people by the sea, because that's where I come from, the south, kind of coastal, real town. And my father passed away when I was very young, my mom had to raise us, she's my biggest role model, and I saw her not just help us, but everybody around her. She was a teacher, she helped my cousins, she's taken so many people into tertiary education, and I connected with that human condition. And I said, what's the best thing you can do? Like a superhero in this world, a doctor. So I decided to become a heart surgeon. And, uh, oh my God. Oh my God. Now, next we have the final question. How is Mr. Clinton going to do with that? 